So the admin studio provided by Vega is for the purpose of administration tasks. This was there before also. Before Vega 8, Vega 7, Vega 6 also it was there, but the name was different. The name was System Management Application. In short, we called it SMA. What we used to call SMA, System Management Application, they renamed it to be Admin Studio today. If you wanted to experience to see how the system management stu studio looks like, you can go to my YouTube channel. There are two channels, old channel. You type SMA, you will be able to see that. Okay. But more or less the content is same. So administration tasks you do at the system level, server level tasks you wanted to do, then you, you, you will be going through admin studio. Server level, what are the tasks I can do? Generally, let's think about it. You, as a user, you log in which means that you logged at the server level or not. Your session will be created on the server. Means every requester who logs into PRPC, for them, PRPC will create a session in the server. Session, how do you identify a session created? By a session ID, generally. So for every requester when log into PRPC, process commander is going to create a requester ID. Okay, which I will show you in few minutes. So request to the server level. Suppose I have some files data, log files. You don't know about log files, I'll tell you later. Files will be there on server only. I wanted to create a file, delete a file, modify a file, anything. Server on the server only. Managing that log files, you can do. Cache memory, caching concept. Is that server level or not? That server level, rule cache, declarative cache, all this, you want to manage, you can do it at the server level administration task. And like this, there are some background tasks also, like queue process, agents, jobs, back, background processing, with, that gets executed without manual interaction. Okay, that is also server level. And suppose we work on service, right? Web service. A third party system sends a request to PRBC, execution begins here, right? For that also, PRBC will create a request session. So, stateful, right? Even state poor or stateless, processing should happen at the server level only, right? So all that management can be done by using admin studio. If you click on resources in the admin studio, you see requesters. Requester means, I'll tell you about it. Hold on. Requesters, jobs means background processing, queue processor, that is also background processing, agents also background processing. All these are related to background processing. Listeners which is what we are going to work on after this admin studio explanation is completed listeners and then a node classification you don't need it system settings like log category system settings and apis is related to some rest services provided by pega and now coming to requesters first let me explain about requester a requester is um, an op uh, okay requester can be a human requester or it can be an internal background processing gets initiated. That is also a requester. Or a requester may be a third party system. You are, your system is a service, web service. Third party system sends a request. When third party system itself here is the requester. Requester need not to be a human always. Okay. So process commander creates requester ID whenever an execution begins on a requester by a requester. Okay. The requester can be a human. How human interacts with an application by using browser, right? A requester may be a third party application communicating with your application. A requester may be within the same application, some background execution automatically. A requester may be a portal. Every portal you access is a requester. Now look at here. When PRPC generates requesters, it, it will be following into one of the four categories of requesters. Okay. So what are the four categories of requesters? First one in the four categories, the first one is human. Human is going to access by using browser, right? And the second one is internal background processing. And the third one is like application. 
third party application fourth one is portal all these are request types okay i have a video available in youtube channel about request types and a document i'll be sharing it now see when it, when it generates a requester id your requester id generated starts with either b or you see you go ahead here uh, go more more still i have so much last your requester id may start with why i am not finding see here a a is there a it starts with b or it starts with h or it starts with p p you don't find usually look at here requester id that gets generated may starts with a b p or n h see h means it is a human requester any request that comes from a browser prpc recognize it as a human and that starts with h that's why browser request will start with h because prp is considered as a human and b means internal background processing background processing for that it generates a request id starts with the character b a means you know that application that is related to web service request okay our listeners also listener is also ultimately a service that's why p means portal which you generally do not come across okay these are the requester types in the admin studio if they ask you what are the requester types these are the requester types okay now next one i will explain you about agents concept queue processor all this later but as of now for us requester and little more information see there are five five developers all of them have access to admin studio let's say now any one of the developer when they access admin studio they will be able to see all the requests here see here i logged in by using dev impl right this is my request id for the current login to prpc this is my request id like this operator id will be there at the place of column operator id every request id that gets created with along with the details will get stored into a table in the back end table means there should be a class connected to the table right that is code dash pega dash requester code pega requester for every login activity into prpc a requester id gets generated a requester is an instance of class code pega requester what is that code pega requester in that table only all this data what i am accessing see the moment i click on requesters table code pega requester related table has been fetched and displayed here see you log in to prpc imagine this is the login id of another requester so you can see here click on this icons and you can view their clipboard this is called remote requester accessing you are accessing some remote requesters clipboard usually when you click on clipboard icon at the bottom you get your clipboard current login i want to see my friend has logged into prpc i want to see his clipboard go to admin studio request management choose the request there and click on the dots three dots and here, there, there you see view clipboard that is the remote other requesters clipboard okay and you have other options like you may trace the requester this is called remote requester tracing what do you call this simply saying remote tracing remote tracing means you are tracing other operators so this tracer is not mine imagine if the id what you are saying is someone else this tracer is not mine whatever the other operator trying to execute that will be traced here i can see and i can analyze this remote tracing and you can uh, you can uh, <coughs> you can terminate uh, you can interrupt or terminate let's talk about terminate you can terminate the other requester okay someone has logged in he is not able to log off and there is some execution is happening okay because of his activity you have to preempt the user immediately okay immediately dismiss how do you do that from here you choose terminate it is going to forcefully remove the session from the prpc server these are fair enough to understand everyone clear how many types of requesters four types human i mean like browser portal background processing application is web services and all and how to trace a other requester by going through the requester management here in the admin studio and choose the requester and then click on trace that is called remote tracing you can see their clipboard also here we have option all everyone clear make sense